Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Boy, it's hard to keep up with all the activity that's been going on today. Earthquakes, floods, volcanic eruptions, you name it. There was a 2.1 earthquake along the New Madrid fault zone. Up here it says it was a 2.0. I don't know if they, let's see if they downgraded it or upgraded it. Well, it's still 2.1 here. Uh, no one reported feeling it. it was nine kilometers in depth which would be about five miles in that area of the rift and the magnetic anomaly going kind of like this direction um, from south to north in an angle that's where the real foot fault zone is at and then we got the real foot um, rift it's a failed rift where the continent was originally going to divide but it stopped so it's called a failed rift. There's been three earthquakes in the last week in this area, a 1.5. Now that was on the 1st of December. And then a 2.0, um, that was on the 4th of this month. You know, if they had a major earthquake in this area, there would probably be damage to about 15 bridges, oil and gas pipelines that go across the country. Also the infrastructure for power lines that stretches across the country. It would be felt across I believe eight states and they would have damage across eight states more than likely. If you do a Google search the states that are threatened would be Illinois, Indiana, Missouri, Arkansas, Kentucky, Tennessee, Oklahoma, and Mississippi. Even Davy Crockett talked about the 1811-1812 earthquakes and the great chasms that opened up and the aftershocks lasted for about 50 years after that earthquake in 1811 and 1812. Evidently according to Google the main shock occurred at 9 15 a.m. It was a magnitude estimated at a 7.5. There's been a lot of controversy about exactly where that earthquake occurred. It probably ruptured uh, quite a few faults when it erupted and the geologists now realize that major earthquakes do in fact make other fault lines yeah erupt just like down there in Coso down there in Southern California they figure that the New Madrid zone has a magnitude 7 to 8 earthquakes about every 500 years but with the weakening of our magnetic field it seems like earthquakes are in fact on the increase other countries have admitted that earthquakes are increasing. They've tripled oh, since the end of 2000, somewhere around 2014. And I think they throw numbers of how often they occur just so people don't panic. If you did have a large earthquake in any of these eight states, you very well could be isolated, separated uh, from your fire and emergency personnel. There definitely would be explosions from gas lines, which they didn't have in the 1800s. You didn't have to worry about the loss of power and all the different things that we need to keep the power going, you know, for hospitals, um, oxygen, your refrigeration, etc. All the businesses that need to have electricity to stay open. And with the bridges down, how are you going to get around? roads destroyed, uplifted, uh, yeah, debris in the road. How are you going to get around to uh, get to a medical facility or to the grocery store? All the food would be spoiled. I mean, it'd just be a big mess. Yeah, everyone needs to be prepared to be on their own for, oh, who knows how long. So, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Please subscribe. Please thumbs up my videos. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.